welcome students welcome to my youtube channel english by pulakna ebong ami pulakna assistant teacher purbo barashat adarsho vidyapit tomaderke shagoto janacchi dear students this video is meant for students of class 11 this video is on the poem upon westminster bridge by the poet william wordsworth before going through the text we will say some words or discuss some words about the poet william wordsworth the background of writing this poem and a general discussion of this poem first of all we will come to know that william wordsworth was born in 1770 and passed away in 1850 and he was the poet laureate of united kingdom othar tini united kingdom er rajkobi kintu chilen ki bolechi first point follow wordsworth was a romantic then who are the other romantic poets the other romantic poets are keats shelley byron and coleridge mainly and then what is the term romantic signify the term romantic or the term romanticism refers to a refers to an intellectual or literary movement or artistic movement that mainly took its form took its origin in united kingdom at the late 18th century othar ashtadosh shotoker shesh dikhe united kingdom e ekta artistic movement e ebong ekta intellectual movement er jonmo hoy jeta ke amra obihito korte pare romantic revival or a uh, romantic movement and the poets who are belonging to this category of movement who are the pioneers of this category of movement are termed or labeled as the romantic poets mainly keats shelley byron wordsworth and coleridge this romantic revival of the romantic period officially started from 1798 with the joint publication of lyrical ballads 1798 with the joint publication of lyrical ballads a book by wordsworth and coleridge what is this movement about this romantic movement is broadly speaking a kind of revolt a kind of protest against the intellectualism or against the Uh, enlightenment of 18th century which focused mainly on reason as the basis of all knowledge a romantic movement hocche ekta protibad shob tar age ghote jao ekta movement jeta ke bola hocche enlightenment hmm 18th century enlightenment jekhane prose and reason er opore beshi focus diye chilo shei that is this romantic movement is a kind of protest is a kind of break from this uh, 18th century enlightenment and this movement focuses on subjectivity this movement focuses on uh, self expression this movement focuses on imagination just follow i have written few points of romanticism first point and emphasis on emo emotional or imaginative spontaneity orthat ekta emotional prakhobik ebong ekta imaginative satoshputtotar opore je mane literary movement jor dey shetai hocche romantic movement ar uh, an addition of strangeness to beauty the walter pater a great critic has defined romanticism as a kind of addition of strangeness to beauty ortat soundorjo ke sathe ekta adbhutota ke jure dewai hocche romantics der kaaj thak 
point the importance of self-expression and individual feeling. Romantic poets are so, such poets who puts emphasis on self-expression or individual feeling. Author, subjective expression, manushke prokasreke expression, subjective expression rupa je kovitar mote jor deya hoi. Eder movement ter agayami ki bolla, chilo 18th century prose and reason. Shekhane, you will not find uh, any sort of importance of self-expression, any sort of importance of individual expression. But here you will find in the poems of romantics an exuberance, an outburst of subjectivity. Last point, celebration of, uh, uh, point number four, celebration of nature and beauty. Edir Kovitarmut, you will find in the poems of romantics a kind of celebration of uh, nature and beauty. Prokriti ke kintu four ponte ana hoche, frontier ana hoche, are beauty, shondujjo. And last point, rejection of industrialism, industrialization, or that shilpo biplog ke poti hoto kora. Romantics were deeply moved by the two movements. One is uh, French Revolution and another is Industrial Revolution. Uh, the Romantics were greatly moved by the impact of industrialization due to industrialization. Uh, rural England was very fast converting into industrial or urban England. J industrialization in Pole, Gramu England, Kub Druto, Shogure England, the Polygot Hoya Chilo, Gach, Pala, Shop, Ketakana Chilo, Targotol Kiho Chilo, big skyscrapers, buildings, industries were set up. The Romantics were deeply moved, mortified by that sort of transformation. In their poetry, you will find a kind of call to go back to nature. She prokitir kachi phire jawar ekta abedon tomra kintu eder kobitar moddhe dekhte pabe. So, jokhoni whenever you will go to the text of any of the romantics, you will find a sort, this sort of uh, features of romanticism in their poetry. Wordsworth's definition of poetry. How does Wordsworth define poetry? Wordsworth has given a kind of very uh, noteworthy, praiseworthy definition of poetry. What the poetry is about. He will say that spontaneous overflow of powerful feelings. It takes its origin from emotion we collected in tranquility. Manglai ki bolbe, kovita ruche, spontaneous overflow of powerful feelings. Othat je subjective feeling, feelings are generated within the self of the poet. She uh, subjective feelings se, ekta shatos putto prokashi kovita. Othat kovita hato she jinish, jar mudde kovir, nijer abeg, nijer onubhuti ekta shatos putto prokash pravi. It takes its origin from emotion, recollected in tranquility. Author at a proshanto state, in a kind of tranquil, in a kind of peaceful state of the mind, when the poet recollects about his memories, the poems are created. It is a definition. Next, Kibodachi uh, words of the Shankar character, Dako. Wordsworth was a poet uh, of nature and poet of man. He believed that nature never betrays the heart. That loves him. Or that what's what chile? Prokitir kobi, what's what chile? Manushe kobi. Romanticism the boish, romantics the boishish to it. They focuses, they focus on nature and they focus on also man uh, as the subject matter of their poetry. Are tini bishash kutte, che prokiti kofno bitre kore na shei vidoy ke jeta ke bhalo bashe. Or that rushor. Author Podotuni Amra, Romantics, the Kovita Motushunta Baba, go back to nature. The Prokiti Kokuno Manushke, uh, Mane, Bitre Korbena, Jemanush, Take, Halabashke, E Kokanu, a Bakai deke, Amra, Deku, E Kovita, Bapari. This poem, there is a background of composing this poem. Composition Niki Bologi, the poem was composed on September. 3, 1802. So when the poem was composed, it was composed on September 3, 1802. On his way from London.
return to Dover with his sister Dorothy, crossing Westminster Bridge. Author Kovita ta compose korar ekta kintu particular background hoye chhe. While he was going to Dover from London by crossing over the Westminster Bridge, which was on River Thames in England, and this bridge was just beside the Westminster Abbey. Jokon thini star bonesh chate ekta in a horse stone carriers, he was crossing the breeze uh, while Wordsworth was crossing the breeze at a very early morning uh, with his sister Dorothy. Uh, he was charmed looking at the beauty of the London of London City from the top of that Westminster Bridge, and he composed this poetry. Uh, what type of poem are watching in detail? The what type of poem is this? This poem falls into category into the category of a sonnet. It is a sonnet. Uh, what type of sonnet? Sonnet bolte. What is a sonnet? Sonnet is a poem of 14 lines with a particular rhyme scheme. Or sonnet kolo acta chotu dosh podi kovita acta nidishto chondo bodhota mene jeta lekha hoy. Or ta chotu line kovita acta nidishto pattern follow kore jay lekha hoy. Our sonnet is broadly categorized into two sections, into two categories. One is patriarchal or Italian model and another is Shakespearean or Shakespearean sonnet. This poem upon Westminster Bridge or composed upon Westminster Bridge falls into the category of a Petrarchan sonnet because this poem you will find is very prominently divided into two parts octave and sustained. Octave is the first eight line first eight lines of the poem are called octave and the last six line comprises sustained. Uh, a particular pattern that is into follow kore octave sustained pattern.
ব্রিজটাকে নিয়ে যে ব্রিজটার ওপর থেকে তিনি দেখছেন যে ব্রিজের উপর দিয়ে না গেলে এই কবিতাটায় লেখা হতো না সো ফ্রম দিস অ্যাঙ্গেল উই মাস সে দ্যাট টাইটেল ইজ ভেরি সিগনিফিকেন্স সিগনিফিকেন্ট আর আমরা আর একটা পয়েন্ট দেখব হোয়াট ডাস দ্য অক্টেভ ডেসক্রাইব এন্ড হোয়াট ডাস দ্য সেস্টেড ডেসক্রাইব দেখো অক্টেভ ডেসক্রাইবস ওয়ার্স উইথ ফিলিং অফ ওন্ডার এন্ড জয় এট দ্য ম্যাজেস্টিক সাইট অফ দ্য সিটি অফ লন্ডন লন্ডন শহরের এই রাজকীয় দৃশ্যপট দেখে কবি যে অনুভূতি হয়েছে বিস্ময় এবং আনন্দ সেটাই কিন্তু অক্টেপ বা প্রথম আট লাইন ডেসক্রাইব হচ্ছে দ্য ফার্স্ট এইট লাইনস ডেসক্রাইব ওয়ার্স ওয়ার্থ ফিলিং অফ জয় এন্ড ওন্ডার অ্যাট দ্য ম্যাজেস্টিক সাইট অফ দ্য সিটি অফ লন্ডন অ্যান্ড হোয়াট ডাস দ্য সেস্টেড ডেসক্রাইব দ্য সেস্টেড ডেসক্রাইব ওয়ার্স ওয়ার্থ গ্লোরিফিকেশন অফ সাচ ওন্ডারফুল সিন যে দৃশ্যটা তিনি দেখলেন বিস্ময়কর দৃশ্য সেই বিস্ময়কর দৃশ্যকে তিনি গ্লোরিফাই করছেন ওকে তাহলে দিস ইজ দ্য ব্যাকগ্রাউন্ড দিস ইজ দ্য সেন্ট্রাল থিম দিস ইজ দ্য টাইপ লিটারারি টাইপ অ্যান্ড এভরিথিং সো দিস জেনারেল ডিসকাশন এন্ডস এ অ্যান্ড উই শ্যাল গো টু দ্য টেক্সট নাও জাস্ট ওপেন ইউ টেক্সট বুক সো লেটস লেটস রিড আওয়ার টেক্সট art has not anything to show more fair dull would he be of soul who could pass by a sight so touching in its majesty otha kobi prothomei bolchen prithibite emon kichchu nei ja kina etar theke beshi shundor etar theke bolte the beauty of the london city viewed or watched from the top of westminster bridge this is a kind of uh, hyperbolic statement hyperbolic mane jeta ke ektu bariye bola hoy exaggerated statement this is not a literal fact or actual fact but this is a kind of poetic imagination or this is a kind of hyperbolic statement that the art has not anything which is more fair than the fairness or the beauty of this city of london dull would he be of soul who could pass by a sight so touching in its majesty shei lokta hobe hridoyer dik theke dull insensitive je pass kore chole jabe erokom ekta dishyo jeta so touching in its majesty রাজকীয় দারুণ অসাধারণ অর্থাৎ দ্য পোয়েট অ্যাট দ্য ভেরি বিগিনিং অফ দ্য পোয়েম ইজ ক্লিয়ারলি ডিক্লেয়ারিং দ্যাট দোজ পার্সন উইল বি হাইলি ইনসেনসিটিভ অ্যাট হার্ট হাইলি ডাল অ্যাট হার্ট দোজ পার্সনস হ্যাভ নো সেনসিটিভ পাওয়ার টু পারসিভ দ্য বিউটি those person who will simply pass by without looking and enjoying that fascinating beauty of the city of london at that early morning the sight which is or that scene which is bathed by the luminous luster of the rising sun orthat shei lok ta ekebari mer mere ekebari oshombedonshil hobe je emon sundor drishyo dekheo উপভোগ না করে চলে যাবে দিস সিটি নাও ডাক লাইক এ গার্মেন্ট ওয়ের এই শহরটা এখন একটা পোশাকের মতো পড়ে আছে দ্য কি পোশাক দ্য বিউটি অফ দ্য মর্নিং সাইলেন্ট পেয়ার সকালে সৌন্দর্যের পোশাক যেটা হচ্ছে সাইলেন্ট অ্যান্ড পেয়ার দেখো দিস সিটি নাও ডাক ডাক মানে ডু দিস ইজ অ্যান আর্কেই ওয়ার্ড ওল্ড ইংলিশ ওয়ার্ড এই শহরটা এখন পড়েছে একটা পোশাকের মতো পোশাক কে পরে ইউজুয়ালি হিউম্যান বিংস তাহলে দেখো এখানে সিটিটাকে কল্পনা করা হচ্ছে দ্য সিটি ইজ ইমাজিনড অ্যাজ এ কাইন্ড অফ লেডি অ বিউটিফুল লেডি দিস ইজ এ ফিগার অফ স্পিচ উইচ ইজ কলড পার্সোনিফিকেশন হোয়াট এটা আসবে এটা কিন্তু তোমাদের কবিতার একটা গুরুত্বপূর্ণ অংশ হোয়াট ইজ পার্সোনিফিকেশন পার্সোনিফিকেশন ইজ এ লিটারারি ডিভাইস 
in which or a figure of speech in which human qualities are attributed to non human entities jekhane manobik gunaboli guloke projukto kora hoy joro padarther opore ba kono concept er opore ekhano tai aro ekta pabe ekhane shohor ta ke tomar kalpana kora hoyeche ekta sundor mohila hisebe je mohila ta poshak poreche kisher poshak poreche the beauty of the morning sokale poshak kishok beauty of the morning means what uh, the beauty of the morning sunlight actually the sunlight the sparkling sunlight is falling each and every object of the uh, the sparkling sunlight is falling on each and every object of the city of london so the city of london is wearing a kind of dress <coughs> uh dekho silent and bare these two words are very important silent and bare why this is silent this beauty is silent in the sense j the this is an early hour and no sort of uh, industry no sort of factory has started its uh, production so uh, there as it is early morning there is no vehicle no horse drawn carriages or any other thing
মাঠের মধ্যে প্রকৃতির মধ্যে মিশে গেছে অল আর মার্চ উইথ নেচার তার সাথে সাথে অল ব্রাইট অ্যান্ড গ্লিটারিং ইন দ্য স্মোকলেস এয়ার সেই ধোঁয়াহীন বাতাসে প্রত্যেকটা জিনিস চকচক করছে অর্থাৎ অ্যাজ দেয়ার ইজ নো স্মোক টু প্রিভেন্ট দ্য ভিজিবিলিটি অফ দ্য পোয়েট দ্য পোয়েট ক্যান সি দ্য অবজেক্টস অফ মাইলস অ্যাওয়ে অ্যান্ড হি ইজ সিং দ্যাট দিস সাইলেন্ট বিউটি of the city of london uh, is sparkling each and every object is sparkling with the glittering rays of the sun well, this is the octave of the poem and in that octave ami ki bolechhilam in that octave words was feeling of wonder and joy at the majestic sight of the city of london well in this first eight lines the poet words was is describing his wonder his fascination at this beauty মানে দ্য পোয়েট 
looking at the sight of the beautiful objects is feeling a kind of calm, feeling a kind of peace or tranquility, you may say. At the prashanti, at unubhav kuchiridoy, that is very deep, that is very touching. At the gobhi prashanti thin unubhav kuchir. In his life, he has never felt such a profound fascination, such a profound calmness as he is feeling looking at the beauty of the city of London. Amon Unubuti Kokono Unubu Korini, Jamon Tini Achke Koche, E. Bisho, Deke, Udioman Shuja, Alois, Nato, London Shawke Deke. The river glided at his own sweet will. Nodita Apone Begetulet. This is also an example of personification. Like Nodira or Apone Begetulet. Still, the poet is making, the, uh, imagining that the river has its own power of moving forward. Nodir jana nijo shwakta egiye jawar khamota ache. Heta niya shen, ta nijo sweet wheel e egiye chole chay ki. Dear God, Dako, Ishwara ka chati nita exclamation kocha. This is also a figure of speech. Also a figure of speech, dear God. He is uh, making a kind of exclamation. He is sure. The very houses seem asleep. This is also an example of personification. Actually, the house cannot sleep. The inmates or the dwellers of the house are sleeping. Barinche Bashinda, Tarakin to Gumache. Put take the Bari and the Kamunuche Kobi, Gumache, or the Bari Bashinda Gumache. Why? Because this is an early hour. Hoop Chokalbella. And usual human activities have not started yet. That's why it seems to the poet words what? that the very houses are sleeping. And all that mighty heart is lying still. mighty heart, shakti shali jano ghumachi. What does that mighty heart refer to? Eta kinti tomadar question ajwe. Actually that the whole uh, United Kingdom or Eng England is imagined as a kind of giant and the city of London is its heart. The city of London is the center of all activities of the whole United Kingdom. So, Amada Shorider Mool Kendu, center of activity of the heart. If the heart beat stops, we will die. Similarly, the city of London is the center of all activities. I will check. She center of activities hoy. She mighty heart. Mighty heart is sleeping. She birat vidoita. Total inland by United Kingdom is imagined as a giant having a mighty heart. That mighty heart is the city of London. The city of London is sleeping. The city of London has not started working it's in its normal, has not started its normal or usual activities. So the poet is saying, saying that the city is sleeping with its natural activities. Tale, ei ghabe kintu tini glorify kuchen. Tale, ei sestet tar modde diye. The glorification ta ki, the ei beauty, ar kono beauty shathe tulona kora jete pare na. This beauty of the city of London can easily surpass or overtake all other beautiful things. He will never feel, or he has never felt as well. So calm, such a calm profoundness as he is feeling now. This is a perfect Petrarchan sonnet and I hope you have understood my teaching. If you uh, just uh, like my teaching, don't forget to like and share my video and dear students, at any difficulty, feel free to communicate with me by sharing your question in the comment box and don't forget 